find the number. It's a prime number and the sum of its two digits is 5. You might want to pause the video for each of these questions and see if you can find the number. So remember, prime numbers are numbers which aren't in any times table except of course for their own times table and the one times table. So 10 isn't a prime number because it's in the 2 and 5 times table as well. 11 is a prime number, but 1 plus 1 is 2, so the sum of its digits isn't 5. The next prime number is 13, but 1 and 3 make 4. 17 is the next prime number, but its digits total 8. With 19, its digits total 10. Now 23 is a prime number, and 2 plus 3 is 5, so we have our answer. Now we're looking for a square number, and the product of its digits is 24. So a square number is what you get when you multiply a number by itself. So 4 is a square number, because 2 times 2 is 4. 9 is a square number, because 3 times 3 is 9, and so on. We also need to know what product means. A product is what you get when you multiply numbers. So there are two different ways to solving this question. We could either find numbers where the product of the digits is 24, and then check if they're square numbers, or we can find square numbers and then check the product of their digits. So let's do that. It must be at least a two digit number if you can find the product of its digits. So it won't be the square numbers one, four or nine. The next square number is 16, but one times six is six, not 24. So 5 times 5 is 25, so that's our square number, that's our next square number. But 2 times 5 isn't 24. 36 is our next square number, but 3 times 6 is 18. Now 49 is our next square number, because 7 times 7 is 49. But 4 times 9 is 36. Now, 8 times 8 is 64, so 64 is a square number, and 6 times 4 is 24, so we have our answer. Now we need a two-digit prime number, which is a factor of 148. So remember, a prime number can only be divided by itself and 1 to get a whole number. Now there are different ways of solving this, but here's the quickest. Divide 148 by single digit numbers, and then see if the quotient is a two digit prime number. So 148 divided by 3 is 39, remained a 1, so that doesn't help us. But let's try 148 divided by 4. That gives us 37, a prime number. So 37 is a prime number because it's only in the 1 times table and the 37 times table. And 37 is a factor of 148 because 37 times 4 is 148. Now we want a multiple of 11, a three digit number, and the sum of its digits is 10. So 10 times 11 is 110, but 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2. 11 times 11 is 121, but 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, not 10. 
Then we have 132, but then the digits don't total 10. Now 143, but the digits don't add up to 10. Now we have 154, and 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. And we know it's in the 11 times table, because we've been counting up in steps of 11, so that's our answer.